Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at search tokens in Lion. So if you've tried to do a spotlight search or a finder window search or even a search in mail in Lion, you may have noticed that things work a little differently. There are these new things called search tokens and they make searching a lot quicker and easier. So here I've got a finder window and I'll start typing a search term. I use my name there. And you can see it comes up with file names. File name contains Gary and sent by Gary Rosenzweig. These will create tokens. If I select this one, it creates a token and this is what one looks like. On the left side is where to search and on the right side is what to search. And it kind of fits together in a little shape here. I can change from searching the file name to everything. So full content. So you can see 428 items found with anything just file name, only 74 items. I can select it and hit the delete key to get rid of it. So in addition to names I can also do kinds. So for instance I just start typing doc as in document and I can see several different kinds listed here. So I can select text document and it will create this token here. Kind is text document. I can change it from kind to everything just like before and I can add more to this search here so I can do a second token. I can type Gary and add the token name contains Gary. I can see I've got one file that's a text document that contains Gary in the name. You can also use dates. You can do that in a variety of ways. So for instance I can start typing a month like August and I can have a token for this August. I can type a year and create a token for that. I can also use the words last and this. So last week or this month. And as you saw before, I can use a name and then select sent by and it will show me emails, photos, things that come from that person in my contacts list. Now using a person from your contacts list makes much more sense inside of mail where you can use these same search tokens. Now you can use tokens in conjunction with search criteria just as it existed before in Leopard and Snow Leopard. So for instance I can uh, decide to search this Mac or just the Mac most user folder. I can add another type of criteria here of all different types. Even go to other. So there's a lot that you can add here in addition to using the simple search token. So it's like for quick things you can use search tokens and then to get really detailed and say search all sorts of metadata inside the files uh, you can continue to use the same type of criteria you used before. In addition to that you can also hit the save button here and save this as a saved search add it to your sidebar just as you could before but you can do that now in conjunction with using the tokens. In mail you can actually create a smart mailbox the same way using that same save button. So here's how you can quickly use it with just the keyboard. So I can type word go arrow down to word document this arrow down to month Gary arrow down to file name contains and I quickly have a list if I had any of word documents from this month containing the word Gary in the name. So there's a quick look at the new search tokens feature in line. You can use them in the finder windows and you can use them in mail. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.